All right, YouTube. Today I'm going to demonstrate Archimedes' principle for you using this Coke, a Diet Coke, and this bucket of water. You see, Archimedes' principle says that the buoyant force which acts on any object, say a Coke that we drop in a bucket of water, is going to be equal to the volume, or really the weight, of fluid which it displaces. So, I've got a Coke and a Diet Coke. I want you to realize the difference between these two Cokes is not just the calories that they contain. Regular Coke, a real Coke, actually has about 40 grams of sugar dissolved in the water in there. This Diet Coke just has some artificial sweetener. So this regular Coke is literally heavier than this Diet Coke. So even though these two cans have the same volume, they have different densities. So when I put this Diet Coke in the water, it floats. But if I put a regular Coke in the water, it's more dense and it sinks. Now the reason the Diet Coke floats is because it is less dense than the water and the regular Coke sinks because it's more dense than the water. Now, if we want to make the regular Coke float, what we can actually do is change the density of the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some salt and add it to the water. You see, when you dissolve salt in water, the density of the water increases. See, by increasing the density of the water, we've actually increased the buoyant force acting on the regular coke. And as a result, the buoyant force has become greater than the force by gravity. And so now, the can floats in the water. So this is a demonstration of Archimedes' principle. And on that note, that's all for now.